Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be on creating a faux marble mini bar out of a desk that we actually found in the trash that was in pretty bad shape. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the desk before we did anything to it, and here's the desk after, after we spray painted it and covered the surface with marble contact paper. We're using it as a mini bar to store our glasses, and we created a small wine glass rack at the bottom, which we'll show you how to do later. Here's the surface. As you can see, it's pretty dinged up, scratched up. Some of those scratches are pretty deep, and the edges were pretty much coming apart. Here are the materials that you'll need. Um, we bought two cans of spray paint, chalky finish, uh, a sander, and some sandpaper. You don't necessarily need the sander, but just in case you have a product that surface is kind of rough and needs some work, um, it's always nice to give something a nice little light sand. So I'm going to breeze through these steps as it's not absolutely necessary. Since this was so dinged up, we decided to give it a pretty light and not super concise sand just so that the contact paper would have something to stick to. So here we turned it upside down so that we can spray paint it. Um, my husband and I decided to tag team this project. Just as a tip for when you're spray painting, you don't want to just keep a, a steady stream. You want to kind of pump the can so that you don't get um, heavy drips throughout the project. Don't mind me just here bothering my husband. So I didn't bother too much with uh, spray painting the top as we were going to cover it, but I just used kind of the leftover spray paint just so I can have something a little bit more for the contact paper to grip onto. Here I'm just using a microfiber uh, towel to clean the surface, no cleaning products, just the towel itself to get rid of any dust or sand, uh, anything that was on the surface that could prevent the contact paper from sticking to the surface. What I also forgot to mention earlier is that you will need contact paper. For this project, we use marble patterned contact paper. You don't need that kind. Um, I'm just showing you here that the back is lined, which helps for uh, measuring out your cuts. Um, and I found this contact paper for, I think, under $25 on Amazon.com. Um, I'll make sure to link everything down below so that you can find it as well. Here, my husband and I are just measuring everything out to make sure that it'll fit over. Um, looking back, I would recommend measuring the table, then cutting the contact paper, which I think is the practical route and the most sensical route, but that's not what we did. Uh, however, we made it work. So you'll want to measure out where you want to cut. Um, contact paper is really easy to cut through. And once you've made your cuts, you want to leave a couple centimeters on either end um, as wiggle room just in case you make some mistakes. Uh, here, we're just making sure that we have enough uh, contact paper over the lip to make sure that everything is covered. And then we're pulling it back. Um, it, you can do this by yourself, but it would be extremely easier if you had someone else helping you. So you, what you'll want to do is there this, there's this um, like wax paper under the vinyl that you'll want to pull under the contact paper so that way you can pull it back and away from where you're sticking it to. So here I'll have my husband help me pull the wax paper from under over so that I can use this squeegee here to work out all of the bubbles on the, um, the surface um, and to make sure that everything is sticking to the surface. Um, this step was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We had minimal bubbles, which was really surprising. Um, also know that if you don't have a squeegee, you can use a book or something with a straight edge that you can use to apply some pressure onto the contact paper. And you'll see later in this video that I actually used a spare piece of wood to get some of those edges that are kind of harder to get into. So here I'm just going to speed through the process. You're really just pulling the paper and sticking the contact paper right onto that surface and making sure that it's adhering and that you're uh, clearing out all of the bubbles. OK, 
Okay, so here's where it can start to get tricky if you didn't pre-measure and pre-cut. Um, you're gonna have a hard time with the edges like we did um, in terms of getting those corners um, pretty neat and tight. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, I found a piece of wood that I used underneath the table to um, to hold our wine glasses. We had an extra piece and so I've been using that to um, straight out those edges. Um, it's really helpful actually, which I'm kind of glad that I had it handy. Um, it's called a tea mold, which is typically used for flooring. So as I just continue to straighten out those bubbles, um, I'm trying to figure out where to cut the corners. You're gonna have to cut out almost a square so that you can make that corner um, pretty taut and even, um, and so that it looks like continuous marble and not paper on a table. So what I'm doing here is using an X-Acto knife to cut um, some of the edges to make them uh, not overhang um, and be straight on the edge. And here I'm cutting that square on the corner to make sure that the paper, um, the contact paper is over the corner um, and looks like continuous marble. So I know I'm kind of in your way here and I'm sorry about that, I just didn't really think about it, I was pretty frustrated with getting these corners um, even. So I'm going in again with this X-Acto knife and making some extra cuts to make sure that um, it's not too short, not too long, and that it makes that everything works on this corner. So I cut the square, folded a little lip over onto this front edge, and used the front piece of the contact paper to overlap it. But because this particular piece of furniture has an overhanging lip and some additional sort of obstructions, if you will, um, it made cutting a little bit more difficult just because there were some obstacles to work around, as you'll see that we'll run into toward the middle of the table. Typically with another tabletop, you wouldn't run into something like this. Um, you would probably also wouldn't have the legs attached, so it'd be a lot simpler to do. Um, but we found this in the trash. Beggars can't be choos choosers. So here, what we found was best is that instead of just pulling the contact paper over and then just sticking it, that someone else pull it and make it really taut. And then I can then paste it under. That way you're avoiding bubbles anywhere. So you want to continue to flatten it out in whatever way that you can. So you pull it and then stick it down below. This stuff is really sticky so once you stick it onto a surface, um, you only have maybe 10 to 15 seconds before it'll be really difficult to get it back off. So we just continue that step all the way through and as you can see right in the middle we have these two slats that we had to kind of make some extra cuts on. And so you'll repeat the same steps for the corner uh, on all four corners, obviously. So you make a cut of the square and then you fold them over each other. It's almost like wrapping a gift. I also meant to mention earlier that if you like my t-shirt, which reads Echo in Chicago, I will link my friend's website down below. Uh, and FYI, this shirt is actually out of print. I'm not sure if they will continue to make it. Uh, but either way, if you want to check out some of their stuff, their brand is Slackers, S-L-K-R-S, local brand, uh, making sure that I'm supporting my local businesses. Make sure that you support yours too. Either way, support and check out their stuff. Here I am 
just straighten everything out, removing all the air bubbles. What's really helpful is applying heat. So if you have a blow dryer laying around, use that to make uh, the contact paper stick. So here is the after. Um, here's that tea mold that I talked to you guys about. I'll link it below. We got it at Home Depot and this was the concept. So it was upside down, this is down below and we created these slats for our wine glasses to fall right into. We used Gorilla Glue to get the slats to stick onto uh, the bottom of the table. Just make sure that you put something heavy onto it. And make sure to let it set for about an hour or two before you put anything on there. And here's the end product, carefully curated of course. We were able to take this trash find that was in pretty bad shape and turn it into this. Um, a lot of our friends uh, actually saw it and really thought it was real marble and were stunned when they learned that it was just contact paper. So here's the final product. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you like it, comment, um, and follow me on Instagram for future inspiration or just to let me know about projects you want to see. Thanks so much for watching.